To write the Lewis structure for TES2, let's first count up the valence electrons. So here's TE. It's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. Sulfur, that's in the same group as tellurium here. So that'll also have six valence electrons. And we have two sulfurs. So six plus 12, 18 total valence electrons for the TES2 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element at the center. That's the TE and then we'll put a sulfur on either side. Next, we're gonna put a pair of electrons between atoms to form the chemical bond. So we have 18 total valence electrons. So we put these two here, we have our chemical bond, and now we'll complete the octets on the outside atoms, on the sulfurs. We've used 16, we'll put two more here. Now we've used 18. Both sulfurs, they have octets, but the tellurium, it only has six valence electrons. So we could move a pair of electrons here. Now this sulfur, it still has eight, but the TE, it has eight. This sulfur has eight. So this looks like a pretty good Lewis structure. If you calculate the formal charges, you'll find out that sulfur, this sulfur here has zero. The tellurium is plus one. And then this sulfur over here with the single bond is minus one. We'd like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. So if we move these two electrons and form another double bond, that means the formal charges will be zero. And the tellurium, it has more than eight valence electrons, but that's okay. It can have an expanded octet. So this is a better Lewis structure for TES2, two double bonds. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry and bond angles. So the purple, that's the TE, and we'll put the sulfurs on either side. We have one sulfur here, double bonded, and then the double bond. So this gives us a linear molecular geometry. But remember, we have that extra lone pair there, and we need to put that on. That occupies space. When we do that, we end up with what's called a bent molecular geometry. The bond angle would be about 120 degrees. If you looked at the electron geometry, the geometry taking into account this pair of electrons, that would be trigonal planar. You can see they're all in the same plane. But just looking at the atoms, that's a bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and bond angles in molecular geometry for TES2. Thanks for watching.